everybody welcome to my channel and today's video is going to be my walk-in closet tour so I filmed this video three months ago and I finally decided to upload this video before I give birth as you guys can see in the intro this is a huge walk-in closet because this is supposed to be his and hers closet but my husband decided to use our seasonal closet that is close to our master bedroom so he has his own place and I have my own place and now I have this extra big space I would say that this is a customized closet after all the things that we've done in here. I changed pretty much everything from flooring to ceiling, lights, and the glass doors. Um, it took us six months to finish everything after all the changes and renovation, but it's all worth it at the end because I really like how it turned out and I got a lot of compliment from it. So I'm very excited to share it with you guys and I hope you're excited too. But um, for those disclaimers out there, this video is not to brag of what I have or anything like that. I just want to share with you guys how I design and um, decorate this place and I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you get some tips and ideas on how to create your own closet or how to organize your own closet. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is the door to my closet and when you open it, there's a three steps down. I just want to show you the before and after. And the first thing you see is this giant mirror in front of me. And I have this white rock that I purchased from Home Goods. And we have this wood floor. Before it was just a carpet and as you can see, it looks so much better. So this is the overview of my closet, but before that, let's start off in this side first. I have this DIY wall art. I put all my pictures. If you want to know how I did this DIY, I'll put the link down below so you guys can see it. So this is what it looks like before. A little sitting area here. This little couch, I got this from consignment store and this pillow is from Lamp Plus and I got this true blanket from Z Gallery this flower is from Home Goods and this table is from Ross next to it is this white um, storage shelves I just put some random stuff like pictures and some extra things I have this picture in the wall, um, Eiffel Tower. I love this picture. I purchased this from Ross. And also these two picture frames, I painted them gold so it will match my room. And over in this side, I have this extra space. This is actually my husband's space. I use this for my extra things like my everyday sandals, some um, extra jewelries. And in the middle, I put this glass circle table. I got this from State Sale a couple of years ago. I believe it was $15. I just put all my um, extra jewelries on top. I have picture and this flower that I got from Dollar Tree. I have this crystal gold mirror. I purchased this from Ross. I love this mirror because it matches to my room. And also I have this frame that says follow your heart. I also purchased this from Ross. And down over here I have this glass tower that I purchased from Ikea a couple of years ago. And on top I have this Eiffel Tower that I purchased it from Ross. And next to it is our picture, me and my husband, when we went to Paris last year. So in this glass tower, this is where I store my jewelries, my important things, and valuable stuff. And on the left side, I have this um, extra cabinet and I decided to put all my um, luggages. So this was a ceiling before with five ugly garage light. But now, as you can see, what a big difference having this glamorous chandelier. It really makes the room very elegant and I decided to put this wallpaper and makes the room very classy and sophisticated. Moving 
on in the side I have this makeup vanity that I purchased online and it's from Michael Amini collection I actually made a separate video for this and if you haven't watched the video and if you want to know more things about it I will put the link in my description box I recently purchased this chair from home goods I like it because it has a metallic finish to it and it matches to my vanity here in the left side I have this black and white mannequin that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and she's wearing a black dress and I got this dress from 599fashion.com Here I have this glass door cabinet where I store all my heavy jacket Before this space was empty and I decided to add these glass doors to look more secure and finish And down over here I have this laundry basket that I purchased from Ross so moving on to this side, I have this built-in makeup vanity. It's pretty well made but it's very tall. But I didn't change anything from it except the handles. I changed the handle to um, silver and white in order to match it to my room. So I decided to use this as my jewelry vanity and also this is where I display all my colognes and perfume. And I got this perfume tray from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I also put our picture here with my husband and next to it is this beautiful flower. Over here in the left side I have this glass shelves. I put some of my picture and some decoration. In here in the middle as you can see I have this bracelet holder and some uh, jewelry display. And on this side, I have some decoration also. I got this from Ross. And in the middle, I have this picture frame with my sisters. And down over here is my um, necklace display. So moving on to this side. First, I have this hat rack stand. I purchased this from furniture store. And this is where I hang all my everyday purses. And I like it because it's very convenient for me to choose what um, purse should I use because I can see all of them. And now moving on to my favorite part of my closet. I really like how it turned out because before basically there were three shelves and it was very small so I knocked them down and I put two shelves instead and I add this glass uh, doors with silver knobs and as you can see it looks so much better. Glass doors can really make a big difference and it gives you that boutique feel to it. And in the middle, I have eight drawers, but I use some of them to store my scarves and some other things. Down over here are my shoes. Before, it was just an empty shelves, and I decided to add this divider. That way, I can organize my shoes better. And also, I add these glass doors to avoid any dust and to keep my shoes clean. In the middle of my closet, I have this beautiful island. It's from Michael Amini collection. Before, there was a big post all the way to the ceiling and we decided to knock them down to open the space and replace this beautiful island. And I used this as my um, office desk at the same time because it's big and um, it does as much as to my vanity. It's really beautiful and it has a silver finish to it and it is a high-end Good quality island I would say so this closet has LED lights it's pretty cool because it'll change the color you want so it comes with a remote to change the intensity of the lights and it has a lot of colors to choose from if you're in the mood of orange or purple or pink or green so it's pretty cool it does have an upper shelves and this is where I put some of my decoration I chose to pick gold and silver here to um, match it to my room
As you guys can see, I organized my clothes by its color because that way I can easily find them. Like here, I have all my black and white. And down over here, I have all my cream and white. Right next to it are my red clothes. And on top, I have all my black. So in this aisle, I have all my long sleeve. And here, I have all my cardigans, long sleeve. And on top and the left side, I have all these dresses. And down over here are my tops and blouses. So that's pretty much everything. I know there's a lot of clothes, but I love thrifting and I love keeping all my old clothes. Moving on to this area here, before it was just an empty wall as you can see. And I decided to add this long cabinet with four doors. I actually designed this and my idea is to keep my long dresses and my gown have their own place. In this first door, I have all my maxi dresses and on top I have my purse and my college diploma. In the second door, I have all my long gown and also my formal attire. Over here in the left side, I have these two shelves. First one is for my short or ankle boots. And down over here are my long knee-high boots. Over here on top, I have all my leather jacket and some decoration on top that I purchased from Home Goods. I also changed this area here. Before, as you can see behind this mirror, it was just an empty wall and I decided to put these two shelves to um, put all my everyday clothes like shorts, t-shirts and on top I put all my hats. And in the bottom as you can see there was two shelves and I decided to add these drawers and this is where I store all my personal things like underwear, bras, swimsuit, socks and stuff like that. In the middle I have this food stool. I purchased this from American Furniture. I use this especially when I put my shoes on. Here in the left side I have some of my scarves. I got this hook from Home Goods, and right next to it is a um, belt holder and I got that from Bed Bath & Beyond. And down over here I have some of my sandals, some flip flops. And here I have this wall hanging mirror jewelry that I purchased from Overstock.com. And inside I have some of my jewelry that I don't use that much. I only use this um, mirror if I try something on, see myself. So we're finally done guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging on all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks everyone.